everyone, this is Coffee Man here. Thanks for tuning in to Coffee Man Media. We are starting up another Road to Glory series in FIFA 20. I'm recording this both to capture the casual FIFA fan and the newcomer to FIFA. I'm going to speak to the blasphemy that is EA FIFA 20 and also the pure joy that is left in this game. I cannot wait for FIFA 21 to see what bugs they fix, what the next series looks like. But I figure, let's get started with the series now. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, so let's set the table. American owners from a long dynasty of money came in and they wanted to own a team and no better place to start it than Germany. So they're gonna buy a team in the third division of the German Bundesliga, a team called KFC, I'm not gonna pronounce the second name, 05. Um, so as American owners, they would like to bring a bunch of American uh, nationality to the team and, and try to can, kind of make a Dortmund-like uh, dynasty with this team moving through the ranks. So. We're going to not only try to buy a few American players from the start, we're also going to send out a youth scout to both the home country in Germany and also to the United States. For those that don't know, what is a Road to Glory series, you might be asking. So we take a bottom team, my favorite kind of team, a team so far from the limelight that no one would give them a chance. We pluck them from the shadows into the light, trying to promote them through the league ranks to the top echelon of FIFA and com to compete at the top levels. All right, so the way this works, you call it football, you call it soccer, either way, it doesn't matter. It's unlike any American sport that I'm used to. They have a feature called promotion and relegation that makes this sport uniquely interesting, makes competition fierce, and that you cannot just sit back and load up for the next season because if you finish last, you might face relegation and go down a lower tier. So a real quick segue, what you're seeing on the screen now are my top contenders to be drafted and or signed by KFC this year. Um, Cameron, I'm sorry, Cannon is a big one for me and Sargent is the other one. Down the road, I'd like to get Pulisic, but I don't know that I could afford him. And in another series, I did get McKinney. My issue with him is he costs quite a bit and I think if we went for him, we would actually miss out on Pulisic. So we'll see, we'll see what happens there. Um, another big contenders are Robinson and Lindsay. I, it just depends on who's available. Uh, come the transfer window, um, but right now Sargent and Cannon for sure, and then we'll kind of see how it goes from there. So the way promotion works is a team that captures the top three spot in a lower league, then moves up into the next tier of that league. Those that are at the bottom three move down, and you're probably thinking, well, okay, what happens if you're the top three of the league, right? All right, so you're in the top league in your country and you finish in the top three, you then have the opportunity to advance into the Champions League. There are some knockout stages. There's a lot of cool things that go on. Uh, we're so far away from that at this point that I'm gonna just slow down. We're gonna go back. We're gonna kind of focus on our team. But the goal of all of this is to get to the, I guess what I would call it is like the Super Bowl League of all of soccer, of all of FIFA. Um, so let's get back to, to our team and kind of kind of see where we're at. All right, so right now we're taking a look at the players we've got, kind of trying to figure out like where they all place, where we rank them, who we want to keep, who we don't. All right, so I've determined we're going to keep our center defensive mid Mbom and our left and right wings uh, in Vinra. I'm going to butcher like every name in this game. Uh, and Kinsabi are the two. So we've got those two guys. And meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and buy or attempt to buy Cannon here. So let's see how this goes. I know this is the first time we've kind of gone through this in uh, FIFA 20, but basically this is the interaction menu where you go through and you talk to the uh, manager of the other team to try and buy um, the player. So this is kind of the process we'll go. I always offer a little bit less, trying to see what uh, what they'll take and then keep negotiating that way. I always remove the sell-on clause. I mean, most teams will, will take it without it. Um, the current value is at 2.5. I, he's just, I, I think we can get him for less. He's worth every penny of all of this. So uh, let's see, 2.1, nope. Getting there, let's see what they take. If, okay, 2.5. Or five, uh, yeah, let's go 2.2, 2.4. All right, I don't want to lose him. Let's just get it 2.45. All right, so now we're going to deal with his 
uh, agent and try to sign him basically on wages. This is where it gets interesting when we don't always have the number that they're expecting. Uh, so let's see what we've got. Now we've scouted him, uh, so this time we do, 20, 2.9. Uh, he's going to want crucial, I'm going to accept that. And four year, I'd like to have five, uh, but let's, yeah, four is fine. To disregard the release clause every time, I don't want someone to come in and swoop in, uh, swoop in and steal them from me. So we'll, we'll go, what do you think here? So say three, and then 15 for a signing bonus. Maybe they'll come back and give us uh, kind of more what they're thinking. Hold your breath. So 3.1, 2 point, so they want 27 as a signing. That's fine, I'm good with that. So all right, Cannon is on our team. We have the first American player uh, signed with KFC. All right guys, that's gonna conclude today's video. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to get all the future updates. And uh, next time we're going to be signing Sargent, which I'm excited about. And let me know in the uh, comments below, what, what player do you or are you most excited about with the uh, U.S. Men's National Team that you might want to see uh, feature in our KFC side? We might not be able to get him uh, this go-round, this transfer window, but, you know, January there's a possibility for other, other teammates. So uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Take care.